Hey game makers, Nelderson here. Uh, I just came out with a new little update for my server.js and I want to go over it real quick. This is going to be a nice, short, simple video. Okay, so let's dive in. So server, server.js. Um, did a couple little things up here, but the biggest change and the only change that I made was this static server. Um, app use the route static is an express static with a public folder. Now, I did not include the public folder in the actual server module. I require you to actually make the, um, the public folder, but I will explain why we do that in a second. So let's go over this really quick. So what, so I just said that anytime you hit the slash static, it looks in your public folder for a static file. Um, this is usually used for uh, web pages, you know, images, you know, things of that nature. Instead of, you know, you have a cat GIF or something like that, you can have your cat GIF on your server. That way it just, it's locally cached. It's just easier to call within your web app or your web page. Okay. That's what this is primarily used for, the static. Okay. But... For us, an RPG maker, we can also use st a static server to run our game. So let's get into that. Let's let's talk about our game. So let us, you know, we have our good old Project Six. Okay, if we wanted to deploy this, um, which there's nothing here going on, but when you're ready to deploy, uh, you can deploy for a web browser. You know, exclude and do all that. Hit OK. I've already done it off screen, and what I am going to do really quick. Uh, I'm going to go into my server folder and I'm going to create that public folder at the root of my server. So let's create that public folder, let's open that up and I have my, oop, my project six file off screen that has my www folder and all my stuff. So, uh, I think to explain how the static server works, it's easier to just to just do it. All right, so let's open up the terminal and let's just make sure I'm in the right place. Um, I want to cd into my server. And then I already have my node modules installed and everything like that. So if I hit npm start, it should be running on my local host. So if I go to my local host, host slash 8,000, or uh, I'm sorry, port 8,000, uh, nothing should happen when I click this. Or, uh, well, this is the example, so that's um, that's actually part of the login script, so that's not a big deal. But if I remember correctly, we were under slash static. So if I hit slash static, uh, nothing should happen. It'll tell me it can't find anything, I believe. So if I hit slash static, it's like, hey, what are you talking about? There's nothing there. However, if we actually look in that, that uh, public folder really quick, uh, public, we do have a project six and then a www and then an index.html index that actually runs our game. So the way that this works, public, it's looking in the public folder for whatever you're trying to serve it. So we're gonna give it project six and www. So if we give this project six and www, it should automatically look for index.html. That is the default for any uh, express static server. It looks for index.html initially. So if we click this, voila, we have ourselves the game. And it should work just fine. Yeah, so this all works. Uh, so this is how you would serve up your game. Uh, which also brings up the question, could you use it to serve up a web page? Absolutely. So let's go back to our public folder really quick. Uh, actually, let's open this up in Atom. So let me bring this up here. Okay, let's close that out. Don't save. All right, so if I come into my server, go into my public, and I let's let's add at the root of our public. Let's add a new file index.html. Okay, and let's just do a basic 
uh, boilerplate. We're just gonna throw some testing stuff in here. Nothing too complicated. It's totally just a test. Okay, just to see if it's you know running properly. So if we come here, so I put this at the root of the. I put this at the root of the public folder. So I should be able to do slash static, and it should pop up with this index.html. Yeah, this is totally just a test and testing up here. So that's how static servers work. Um, so you can have, uh, notice how I have a project six with a www. I could have a project seven and a my awesome game and a, you know another and another and another. So you can have, you know, as many as you want technically running on the same server. Now, if your games are really popular, I don't suggest doing that. Uh, but at first, just a prototype and get things out there or, you know, show your friends, you know, you're really not that big. I mean, you can run quite a few projects off this and it, it, it's really not gonna affect your server if you have something decent. So yeah, that's how this all works. You know, simple, but if you're not used to running your game off a server, this is just another way of doing it. Hey guys, nice easy one, really quick. Uh, I'm hoping to release another uh, tutorial and another plugin real soon, so stay tuned. Uh, hit that subscribe and like button so you get updates on everything. All right, later game makers.